Hi, welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS Dark Mode. So basically, CSS Dark Mode allows you to have a custom CSS when a user switches to a dark theme on their operating system, then that CSS gets applied to your web page. So currently, this feature is only available for Mac OS users using Mojave. And basically, you have to download Safari Developer Preview because this is not available yet. So it's in process, it's in development, and I know for sure, for example, Windows users, Microsoft might be working on a dark mode on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or any future updates. And basically, you will have this same feature as well. So also Chrome is not supporting this, which I'm pretty sure they will be supporting it in the near future. And without further ado, let's learn how to use CSS Dark Mode. All right, so go ahead and download Safari Technology Preview to follow along with this video. If you are using any other browser, this will not work because there isn't support for it yet. So go ahead and download Safari Technology Preview and then open up any of your IDE. So in my case, I'm going to be using Atom for this video. And basically right here, I've got a bare index.html with a head tag, including some metadata, a link to Google Fonts, a title, and then inside of the body, you can see that I've got a div called a div with a class wrapper, image, h1, and a p tag saying this is awesome. And you can see on the right hand side what I'm coding. So basically now let's go ahead and add some CSS to this so you can see exactly how we can switch between light and dark theme. So currently if I open up my settings, so I'm going to go to the Apple logo, system preferences, and then general, you can see that I'm using the dark theme. So let me just switch to light just for now. So you can see that now I've got this light theme. And if I switch back to dark, nothing changes on my web page, right? So I'm going to pick light. And now let me go back to Atom and let's add some CSS. So after the title tag, go ahead and add a style, right? And right here first, let's actually center things a little bit. So dot and then wrapper. And let's go ahead and say display. And then this will be flex and then flex and then direction. This will be column. Let's go ahead and say justify content to center. Go ahead and simply say align items to center. And then the height of this will be 100 and then VH. So if I save this, you can see that we have everything centered, but there isn't any custom CSS to target the dark theme. So now to use dark theme, all you have to do is use a media query. So go ahead and say at and then media and then inside, go ahead and say prefers and then dash and then color and then dash scheme and then column. And right here, go ahead and simply say dark. So now inside of this media query, let's go ahead and add the CSS that we want when we switch to a dark theme. So inside of the body tag, so body, let's go ahead and say that we want the background color to be RGB and then 41, 41, and then 41, just like that. And then we want the color to be and then orange, just like that. If I save this, you can see that nothing happens. Now take a look at this. If I open up my settings and then switch to dark, you can see that the dark CSS is being applied, right? So let's go ahead and switch to light and you can see that this is switching back to the previous mode. And let's also go ahead and switch to dark so you can see what's happening. So now you could also target specific tags. So in my case, let's go ahead and say that the P tag, so I want every P tag to have a color of white, just like that. Save that and you can see that this P tag right here is white. And if I switch back to light theme, 
you can see that everything is black right now. So this is one way of doing it, but the way I prefer to do this is actually to have all the colors in our root element and then pretty much just change the colors when we are inside of this media tag. So go ahead and pretty much before the wrapper class, go ahead and say column and then root. And then let's go ahead and specify some variables. So this is CSS variable, so dash dash, and then let's go ahead and say BG and then color. And this will be RGB 4141, or actually, so this will be white. So let's go ahead and say white for now. And I'm gonna show you ex exactly how to change this in a second. So that will be white, and then the um, color, so text and then color, this will be RGB, and then 41, 41, and then 41, just like that. And that was semicolon. And now what I'm gonna do is pretty much just delete all of this. And I'm gonna grab the body CSS style that we have here. And now right here, let's go ahead and paste it here. And instead of using the RGB right here, so what we're gonna do is use the CSS variable. So this will be var, and then within parentheses, go ahead and say dash dash, and then BG, and then color, just like that. And the same for color, so this will be var. And basically, this is how we use the variables defined right here. So dash dash, and then text, and then color. Now, if I save this, you should see that few things have changed. So basically, you can see that this color is a bit different. And in fact, if I go ahead and say red, so you can see that this is working. So you can see that our normal CSS is red. So what I'm gonna do now is, because I have this body tag right here, and, in, and if I indent this properly, and this body tag is using these variables, so you can see that it's using these variables right here, and these are coming from the root. So now, what I can do is grab this root right here, so the root, and actually override it inside of the dark theme. So I'm gonna copy that, and then inside of this media query, paste that in, indent this, and now what I wanna do is invert the colors. So I'm gonna grab that, and then put it there, and this will be white. So the text color will be white, and the background color will be dark, essentially. And actually, what I wanted was uh, orange, so orange. I wanna override this to orange. Now, if I save this, you see that nothing happens, and this is because I'm using the light theme. So if I go back to settings and then switch to dark, you can see that the dark theme has been applied. So now let's go ahead and also override the P tag. So as we did before, so P, and then this will be color. And then we could also have a custom variable for that. But for now, let's go ahead and say white, save that, and you can see that works. And this is awesome, guys. And I've just realized that inside of the body tag, I've missed my font. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in there and then save that. And you can see that we have a better font. And basically this is it. If you have any questions on how to use dark theme with CSS, go ahead and drop me a message. But as I mentioned, um, this feature is only available as I speak for Safari developer preview. If you are using, uh, for example, Chrome. So if I open up Chrome, and then open up a new tab, paste that in, paste that, and you can see that there is no dark theme. And you can see that I'm actually using dark theme, but there isn't one applied. If I switch to light, you can see that it's the same. So one more thing that I actually forgot to tell you is that inside of uh, my CSS, so right here you see that I've chose dark, but you can also have light. So I can change it, I can change that to light, and if I save that, you can see that if I open Safari Developer Preview and refresh that, and now you can see that I've switched the colors around. So basically, if I now switch to light, you can see that now when I'm using light, the dark theme, or actually what used to be the dark theme gets applied. And this is awesome. So let me change that to dark. I think it makes more sense. 
save that and you can see that because I'm in live scheme this is what gets applied all right so as you saw css dark mode is so so powerful and i can't wait for this to be live in every single browser out there this is all for now go ahead and make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this also go ahead and follow me on my instagram where the community is growing if you have any questions or suggestions go ahead and comment below otherwise join me in the next one see ya